Over 2,400 years ago, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, revolutionized healthcare. But there's one thing he should have mentioned in his extensive writings, diabetes. Diabetes, or diabetes mellitus, is a disease affecting millions worldwide, yet it remains absent from ancient medical texts. How did this modern epidemic emerge from nowhere? Join us as we explore how diabetes, primarily a lifestyle disease, has evolved into one of the major health issues of our time. Discover the shifts in human behavior and diet that have turned a once non-existent disease into a common household name. But it's not all doom and gloom. Learn the simple yet effective ways to manage and lower your blood sugar. These life hacks can help you take control, from intelligent diet choices to keeping active. Discover how to live healthier with diabetes. Subscribe for tips and more. Now hack number one, check your blood sugar, ideally CGM, and keep a detailed journal. Managing diabetes effectively requires precise monitoring of your blood sugar levels. One of the best tools for this is the Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM. A CGM provides real-time, continuous insight into glucose levels, showing how activities, meals, and stress affect blood sugar. Understanding these patterns is crucial. Knowing this, you can predict and avoid major spikes in your blood sugar levels. While technology offers excellent insights, combining it with traditional methods like keeping a detailed journal can enhance your understanding of your body's responses. Document everything what you eat, your physical activity, and any stress you experience. This journal becomes a valuable tool, helping you connect your lifestyle choices with changes in your glucose levels. Regularly reviewing your journal and CGM data can help you make informed diet, exercise, and medication decisions. Combine self-monitoring with regular healthcare consultations to refine your diabetes management plan. Hack number two, start your day right with a savory breakfast. While reaching for sweetened cereals or bread with jam is tempting, these foods can lead to early morning spikes in your blood sugar levels. Instead, choosing savory options can help stabilize your glucose levels. Breakfast is rich in fiber. Think vegetables, nuts, and seeds, followed by protein sources like eggs or yogurt, which provide sustained energy and help keep your blood sugar stable. Include wholesome carbohydrates like whole grain toast or oatmeal, but make them part of a balanced meal, not the star. This balance helps moderate your body's insulin response and maintains fuller and more satisfied feelings throughout the morning. Logging your fiber-rich and protein-packed breakfasts in your journal and observing how they influence your glucose levels can empower you to make informed dietary decisions. Adjusting the composition of your breakfast can profoundly affect your daily diabetes management. It's a simple change that can significantly improve your overall health. Hack number three. Choose foods with a lower glycemic index. This simple choice can make managing your blood sugar much more manageable. Foods with a lower glycemic index release glucose gradually and consistently, preventing sudden spikes in your blood sugar levels. These include whole grains, legumes, and most fruits and vegetables. Instead of white bread, rice, or pasta, opt for their whole grain counterparts. Not only are they richer in nutrients, but they also have a lower impact on your glucose levels. Incorporating these foods into your meals doesn't just help stabilize blood sugar and support overall health, contributing to heart health and weight management. Planning your meals around low GI foods can help you maintain better control over your diabetes. It's an active way to manage your health by focusing on your diet. By choosing lower glycemic options, you'll notice more stable glucose readings on your CGM, helping you feel more balanced throughout the day. Research consistently backs the benefits of low glycemic index foods for diabetes management. For instance, a landmark study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows significant findings. The findings suggest that integrating low GI foods into your diet can help manage day-to-day -day blood sugar levels and contribute to long-term health benefits, reducing the risks linked to diabetes, like heart disease. Hack number four. Drink vinegar, apple cider vinegar, before meals. It's not just for salad dressings, vinegar can impact your blood sugar levels. Drinking a small amount of vinegar before meals can help reduce blood sugar spikes. 
This simple practice works by slowing down the absorption of carbohydrates and increasing insulin sensitivity. A study in diabetes care showed that drinking vinegar before meals greatly enhanced how well insulin works in people with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. People with about two tablespoons of vinegar before a high-carb meal showed lower blood sugar levels afterward than those without. The acetic acid in vinegar is the key player here. It affects how glucose is processed, offering a simple, natural way to manage blood sugar levels effectively. Adding this to your daily routine is simple. Mix one or two tablespoons of distilled vinegar or apple cider with water before meals. Hack number five, eat your foods in the correct order. What you eat and how you eat can impact your blood sugar levels. Starting your meal with fiber-rich foods, then adding protein and healthy fats before carbohydrates can significantly affect how your body processes sugar. This eating strategy helps slow digestion and the absorption of sugars, keeping blood glucose levels more stable. Research supports this method. A study in a well-regarded medical journal found that when participants ate vegetables and protein before carbohydrates, they experienced lower blood sugar spikes than when they ate carbohydrates first. This eating pattern helps reduce the overall glycemic impact of the meal aiding in better long-term glucose management and insulin sensitivity. By adjusting the sequence of your food intake, you're enjoying your meal and turning eating into a strategic activity that supports your health. If you want to learn more about this food order, we've created a specific video for you. Click the link in the description below for more details. Now, hack number six, incorporate legumes into your daily diet. These nutritional powerhouses are versatile and incredibly beneficial for blood sugar control. Legumes are full of fiber and protein, which can help slow down how fast glucose gets into your bloodstream, preventing sudden spikes and keeping you fuller longer. A comprehensive study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that consuming legumes daily significantly improves glycemic control and lowers cholesterol levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Participants who ate at least a cup of legumes daily saw a noticeable reduction in their HbA1c levels, indicating better long-term blood glucose management. These findings highlight the role that dietary fiber and protein, both abundant in legumes, play in managing diabetes. Integrating legumes into your diet can be a simple yet effective step towards better health. Tip. Legumes that cause bloating if not prepared right. So how to prevent it? Soak the legumes overnight, rinse them very well, and bring them to a boil. Start slowly as you introduce yourself to legumes. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, until your body adjusts. Hack number seven. Choose ancient wheat varieties over modern ones. Ancient grains are full of nutrients and help control blood sugar. Ancient wheat varieties are typically less processed and contain more protein and fiber, which can help slow glucose absorption into the bloodstream. Research supports the benefits of these grains. A study published in the Nutrition Journal found that participants who incorporated ancient grains like einkorn and spelt into their diet experienced improved glycemic control and better insulin sensitivity than those consuming modern wheat varieties. These findings underscore the advantages of switching to ancient grains, which have a lower glycemic index and provide more nutritional benefits than their refined counterparts. Hack number eight, freeze your carbohydrates. An intriguing hack for managing your diabetes involves a simple step before you eat your carbohydrates, freezing them. This might sound unusual, but there's solid science behind it. Freezing and thawing whole grain carbohydrates like bread, pasta, and potatoes change their starch structure into resistant starch. This type of starch is digested slower, impacting blood sugar levels less significantly. A Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism study found that consuming resistant starch by freezing and then thawing whole grain carbohydrates can lower glycemic response. Participants who ate frozen, then thawed whole grain bread experienced slower blood sugar rise than those who ate fresh bread. This process effectively reduces the glycemic index of these foods, making them a more intelligent choice for maintaining stable blood glucose levels. For example, whole grain bread. Before you eat them, freeze them first, 
then toast them. For pasta, cook them al dente, then put them in the fridge before you eat them. The same goes for rice. But make sure you consume them, especially the rice, not more than 24 hours because it can cause toxicity. Hack number nine, stop obsessing over calories. While calorie counting has been a traditional method for diet management, it doesn't always provide a complete picture. Foods with the exact calorie count can affect your blood sugar and overall health differently. Research in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition supports this approach, showing that high-quality foods, rich in nutrients, fiber, and healthy fats, lead to better blood sugar control and overall metabolic health than diets focusing solely on calorie restriction. This study emphasizes that a diet full of vegetables, whole grains, fruits, and lean proteins can aid in managing your diabetes more effectively than simply counting calories. Instead of counting each calorie, focus on what those calories are made of. Opt for whole, unprocessed foods that feed your body well and help stabilize your blood sugar levels. Shift your focus from counting calories to choosing high-quality foods to transform your approach to diabetes management. Hack number 10, stay hydrated. Staying well hydrated is crucial for everyone, but it's crucial for managing diabetes. Water doesn't just quench your thirst, it helps regulate blood sugar levels by enabling the kidneys to flush out excess glucose through urine. This natural detoxification is vital for keeping your blood sugar levels in check. The research found that regular water intake reduces the risk of hyperglycemia by promoting better glucose control. Experts suggest that drinking at least 8 to 10 glasses of water daily can significantly benefit blood glucose management, especially for those managing diabetes. Incorporating sufficient water into your daily routine isn't just about drinking when you're thirsty. It's about consciously maintaining hydration throughout the day, which can profoundly impact your health. Our final hack for today is a simple yet powerful. Hack 11. Exercise. Physical activity isn't just about managing weight. It's a fundamental part of managing diabetes. Exercise helps increase insulin sensitivity, which means your cells are better able to use the available sugar in your bloodstream. Additionally, it helps your muscles use blood sugar for energy and muscle contraction, lowering your blood sugar levels. Research in the Diabetes Care Journal says that exercising regularly greatly helps control blood sugar and lowers the chances of heart problems in people with type 2 diabetes. The study highlights that both aerobic and resistance training are beneficial. Participants in the study who engaged in a structured exercise program experienced noticeable improvements in their HbA1c levels, demonstrating just how powerful a tool exercise can be in diabetes management. Incorporating exercise into your daily life doesn't need to be daunting. Easy things like brisk walking, swimming, or biking work well. Aim to do at least 150 minutes of easy exercise or 75 minutes of harder workouts each week and do muscle building exercises two or more days a week. Adding to the power of regular exercise, there's another effective strategy to help manage your blood sugar, moving after you eat. This simple habit can significantly affect how your body processes sugar. Taking a short walk immediately after meals, even if it's just for 10 to 15 minutes, can help lower blood sugar levels post-meal. This activity encourages muscle cells to immediately use the glucose they receive during eating for energy, helping reduce blood sugar spikes. Research supports this practice. A study in the Journal of the American Medical Association discovered that walking after meals lowered blood sugar more for the next three hours than doing one longer walk at a different time of day. The study highlights that the timing of physical activity is crucial and suggests that a quick walk after meals is particularly effective for people managing diabetes. Thank you for joining us today as we explored practical and effective hacks to manage diabetes. Keep in mind, even small changes can really affect your health and how you feel. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell if you find these hacks useful. You'll get more insights, tips, and updates to help you live a healthier life with diabetes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.